Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh, this is Versailles. Today I'm gonna to do a quick video that I get asked all the time. How do you get a dog in a rooftop tent? Now I've done it from the stairs before. It super sucks. What I've found that works the best for me, I've seen some other YouTubers do this and honestly it works way better than getting up and out of the freaking rooftop tent. Versailles already loaded up on the tailgate. The easiest way is to just open this window and put her in. So I'll just open this window up pick her up and put her inside this is the easiest way to get a dog in and out of a rooftop tent so literally standing on your tailgate putting the dog in now i'm going to show you how easy it is just to get her out as it was in there you go Ugh. good girl get down. there you go good job let me show you how hard it is trying to carry a dog up the ladder and why I think that you guys need to do this as your alternative versus climbing the ladder. I used to have to just sit here and belly up myself. That's a terrible way and you risk injury to yourself, your dog. So I recommend you don't do this at all. Definitely do what I showed you guys. Just getting in and out of the rooftop tent from the tailgate makes it way easier. You're still putting a little bit of strain on your back, but it's not nearly as bad as this. And the first time I actually tried to lift her in and out of this thing, we both literally almost fell. I mean, I actually kind of toppled down the ladder and caught myself. I bear hugged her to keep her from falling and somehow we managed not to fall. When you guys are out camping, you have a rooftop tent, you're over landing, do not use this thing climbing in and out. You are gonna hurt yourself. Your tent should come with some type of side window. Highly recommend that you guys use the side window to get your pets in and out. There's a brand that makes ramps for your pet to go up and down. What if your pet is afraid to go up and down a ramp? Versailles would probably go up and down a ramp with no problem, but you know, there's a lot of pets out there that probably wouldn't. That's why I recommend just using your tailgate or whatever, if you have an SUV standing on the back, whatever it is. I hope this video kind of helped you guys out. Maybe made you guys think like, Crap, I didn't even think about that before. With that being said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful day. We will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.